In this video, I'm going to talk about um, Newton's third law of motion uh, on uh, different masses. Let me share the screen again. So here we, this is the Newton's third law of motion. It's also called as action-reaction law. Whenever one object exerts a force on a second object, there is always gonna be a equal in op opposite force that exerts on the first object from the second object. So you always, a force always come in pair that's equal in magnitude in the opposite direction. Force can never exist by itself. Then, then I also given an example of this, even a non-contact force like gravitational force, right? Um, there's a gravitational force on apple from the earth. That means that there is a gravitational force on the earth from the apple. So even in a non-contact force, the force always come in pair. That's equal in magnitude in the opposite direction. So this pair of force, the gravitational force on the apple from the earth is equal in magnitude on the gravitational force from the apple on earth. So you, it, does, it may not make sense uh, to have a the you the Earth also the um, the apple is also pulling um, Earth as the um, apple is pulling the Earth, right? So here um, gravitational force. Same amount. So what we need to be careful here is um, again, Newton's third law say is the force that's equal. Fg on apple from earth to the apple. And this is the Fg from apple onto earth. So this, you, whenever that apple has the five Newton going down, that means that earth is pulled up by apple, five Newton up. But uh, let's also apply a Newton second law of motion. Newton second law of motion says that acceleration is equals to net force divided by mass. So apple in free fall, apple in free fall, has the net force, that's Fg, from the earth to the apple, right? The regular Fg, that divided by mass of apple. But let's think about uh, uh, <clears throat> acceleration on earth. Due to the gravitational force from the apple onto the earth. So then now I'm gonna say Fg, this is the equal in magnitude. So now apple onto earth. But let's see, how about the mass of the earth? The mass of the earth is humongous compared to the mass of the Apple. So this acceleration is tiny, negligible. So whenever the pen is dropping at the same time, it's pulling up the earth with the same amount of uh, same amount of uh, forces applied on earth to pull up as the pen is coming down. But the inertia, the mass of Earth is so large that acceleration, Earth doesn't really move. So be careful what is uh, equal and do not ever say just, don't you just say gravi gravity, gravitational force, force, gravitational acceleration, they're all different, right? <clears throat> 
um, force is not the same as acceleration. So then um, here you say there is the same force, same, uh, same magnitude of a force applied on the earth and on the apple. However, acceleration on the earth is negligible because the inertia, the mass of the earth is so much larger than the mass of the apple. So that's why earth really doesn't move. Although there is a gravitational force to pull up when the pen is coming down or apple is coming down. Um, Similarly, you're going to think the same thing with the guns too, right? When you shoot a gun, the bullet comes out. So the force to pull the bullet outwards, it's going to be the same amount of force that's applied on the gun. Um, so exact same force is going to apply on the gun uh, in a backward direction. That's recoil. Um, or think about a cannon and a cannonball. So cannon. The wheel of a cannon. Let's see, cannon. Should make it more like a horizontal direction. So here's the cannonball, right? And then a cannon has something like this. It's on the ground. So when you when you shoot the cannonball then it's going to be an enormous force applied on the cannonball. In this direction. Right. And that means that there's going to be an exact same amount of force also applied on the cannon. Same amount of force applied on the cannon. And this is like a recoil. So cannonball, let's look at the acceleration on the cannon. Ball, cannonball. So cannonball. They both experience the same amount of force. Cannonball's acceleration is the force divided by the mass of the cannonball. Ball. That's equals to the acceleration of the ball. But you make sure to for cannon to be massive, right? Because if you make the cannon to be a lot heavier than the ball, mass of the cannon, then it won't go back as much. So acceleration of the cannon. So the forces the equals in opposite opposite to each other, but you see that it's not necessary. You're going to have the same motion because that would be depends on the inertia, the mass of the object. And again, the forces applied on the object one from the two object two. That means that force is applied on the object two from the one. So it's always applied on a different object. So again, make sure uh, you guys don't get confused with the acceleration, force, mass, and be clear when you discuss um, motion and physics. Be, be clear if you're talking about acceleration, are you talking about force, are you talking about mass, and all that. All right. So it's a short video. I guess I could... It's a short video and I guess I'll see you 
in a class.